Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. All right, all right. Impromptu live today? It's happening. It's right. Tuesday, Monday. What the heck is it? It's mm. Monday. It is Monday. <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, just like uh, straightforward, the marketing team, after we ruined sales uh, last week because we sold all the stuff you couldn't buy, they asked us to uh, help tell everybody about the sale day, but I got a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. More than that, better than that. So here's the four things you're gonna see today. All right, live. I got it, count them down. All right, so first one. thing you're gonna see is an XXL 750 update here. So we'll tell you some of the things that we've changed. Uh, it's and really turn it around. The tank turned around. So I'm gonna bring the camera up, we'll go take a look at a couple of things. We're also going to give away four radio. Radio on XR30. XR30 Blues, just like the one you swapped out on the 750. All right, that's your preferred reaper. You might get a free uh, radio. Uh, we're also announcing, because they asked, uh, <laughs> Black Friday in May. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, oh, man, Ecotech's on sale, Neptune's on sale. This stuff only stuff. happens You're gonna hear once it. a year. You're going to hear why it's Black Friday, not just from sale. Yeah. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, and we're announcing a couple of new hires. Uh, we did bring in, yeah. we brought in to them some, uh, some new talent, uh, new like wholesale. Epic, epic wins. Big so wins. I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So, uh, I don't know. So that's the things you're going to see today. Uh, and so if you like four free Radions, hang out with us. Uh, if you'd like to see what's going on with the tank, hang out with us. If you like uh, Black Friday May, hang out with us. Do and you want to know who's joining team? Yeah, we did that video, the live video the other day. That yeah. said uh, we were hiring all these people. We secured two already. We've got two of all of the jobs that we said we were hiring. All right, for. there we go. All right, so first off, I think there's this three one? changes that we've done to the yeah. XXL 750 behind us. And I'll let you start with the first one. So this has been a roller coaster of a ride for the 750, as you know. I'll give you a little, uh, you can yeah, I'll I'll talk show it. Yeah, Ryan will show it off while I talk. Uh, we had the biggest Aptasia problem, probably the reason why you guys haven't seen this tank in a long time, riddled with Aptasia. And uh, I think just in the last few months, with the help of Frank's uh, F Aptasia, with the help of two file fish that we put in here, or uh, file fish that we put in here, plus the help of just uh, elbow grease from Josh. As you can see, there's coral gum covering up uh, Aptasia. There's nudibranchs that we got also. Um, out of all this, we finally beaten it back. Uh, we beat this in the 160. It was only a matter of time until we beat this in the 750. It's been a long time coming, but now with the Aptasia gone, look at the colors and the corals. The growth is coming back. Some of these things were on their last limb. We've revamped the tank. Everything's looking great. Some amazing colors in SPS. Every time I walk by here, I'm like, wow, where'd that thing come from? I wish I had the little lens on here so you could see the real color. Yellow uh, tips and all kinds of stuff. Okay. All right. So this is roughly what it looks like uh, now. Again, uh, Aptasia not eliminated, but if you saw it before, man, Aptasia was such a big deal in this tank that it just like decided to totally explode. Yeah. All right. So Aptasia, again largely handled now you can see all right so that's a, a little bit of what it looks like here let's change so one. uh let me share a, a little of my thoughts on that that uh, aptasia thing here so there we go all right okay so again we tried the nudie bronx right the burgias we did and uh, Just, i mean it worked a little bit this is my opinion on the burgias is that you think it's going to solve it day mm -hmm. one, you put them in there, it's just going to gobble them all up. It takes a long time. It tends to be like the six to 12 month solution. Yeah. Because you actually have to like, they have to start breeding faster than the Aptasia breeds itself. That's a hard, hard yeah. feat when it was yeah. uh, it covered as much as we So did. eventually it'll be part of the solution, but it may not be. So I think it was Salty Critter that- uh, Salty Underground. Salty Underground that actually provided them for us. So, you know, go check those out. I also got to say that um, this tank was made to be a super high flow tank and some of those large breeding uh burgias they do have a hard time like finding crevices to uh, to lay their eggs and you know successfully spawn and things like that just because they need some of those really dead zones and this is full and purposely we created the flow in this tank so there was hardly a dead spot mm -hmm. then the uh, affectasia so uh you, you've probably heard about it you've probably we talked about it a few times but Aptasia is kind of like uh, Joe's juice or Aptasia X kind of stuff. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's up for it's like a paste, and you kind of paste it on it. It seals the Aptasia mm -hmm. in while it kills it and doesn't spread. And I'm going to tell you, 
the amount that we've killed here is <laughs> indicative of that. I believe in it. I would, I would actually recommend it to anybody. Well, this kind of like works on two of the main approaches that we've taken, like in the, especially in the 160 for Aptasia, is uh, the encrusting brute force. That, yeah, that brute force with the Kalkwasser, or the, and we used uh, Aptasia X, which didn't work so well in the 160, but that that brute force with uh, poisoning, I would say them and uh, creating this encapsulating like uh, surface over the top so they can't come out it anymore it kind of seals them in we've been doing that with coral gum we did coral gum in the 160 for a long time frank's f aptasia just kind of both best of both worlds uh then also on top of that we moved our favorite bile fish out of the 160 proven, over here proven you and all he does is sit around and pluck them up you can watch them all day just sitting there searching <laughs> them out eating them so like everything else if you can find a natural predator in the tank that actively eats them, and different than the burgia that has to just kind of run around looking for them, yeah. fish can swim around and hunt them down and pick them out. Yeah, yeah. So that was the big deal for the heptasia, and uh, we're beating it back. I, I I told Josh earlier this year that I said, man, I really hope that by the end of this year this thing turns around because at the beginning of the year it was still riddled in aptasia, the corals were dilapidated, they weren't colorful, they weren't growing. And uh, he surprised me. Here we are, like, oh, three months in, and I'd say that this thing is going to blossom this year. Uh, dude, when we show you this uh, 12 months from now, you're gonna, it's going to look wow. like the E170, except for a year later. Yeah. And there's another good point, actually. Ah, yeah. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, this was a dry rock, bare bottom tank. And we're going to do a whole live on this specific conversation about dry rock, bare bottom tank, because I personally wouldn't do it again. <laughs> no. uh, it's tough. At least I would approach it differently, and we'll talk about that later. But it took a year plus for this tank to mm. catch up to the fact that it was started in that sterile environment. But now that it has, it's about a year behind the E170, but now it's starting to take off. So that's why I know you're going to see the same thing here. Well, that brings up the conversation about building the uh, biological diversity in the tank. And we kind of kickstarted this one up, or probably earlier than some there. We added frags maybe earlier than we should have. We added a whole bunch of fish and all of these things like diversify the microbiome inside. So, you know, a year and a half in, we finally got a mature reef that's uh, stable enough to for these corals to start thriving. Yeah, I remember if anybody's following along, we had those like cloudy bacterial blooms. Yep. We had uh, Dirty, uh, the, uh, uh, the dinos in here. We were using the UV to beat it back. So eventually, we used to just put the, the UV, hang a pump over the side, eventually we installed now it. Now it's Just like part of the solution, <laughs> end game. All right, so another thing that, uh, this one's actually pretty interesting. So probably what reason I'm gonna give away some of these radions okay. uh, today is because... You're going back on your word. I am, I'm going back on my word. If, if anybody's been following us, we released the G5 uh, yep. radions a while back. And when they came out, we talked about you know how like some of the things we really liked about them, but at the end, I think I, I asked the question, would I upgrade from my G4? He said no. I said no. And I like I don't know. It just wasn't. I didn't think it was enough. And then I said the very statement of, and I'll tell you why. I can't say that I would do it anyways because we're not upgrading the G4s that are on the 750. So I can't say that we would do it any other different. <laughs> About four months ago, I told uh, after we did a lot of your investigates, oh, yeah. we okay. saw how this, the spread was the best, the price per par was the best, mm -hmm. the spectrum, all of it was like, man, uh, we had this is the spread on it, like what it was like 20% different from the very center to like the to outer the edges, just six inches deep. Yeah, it didn't, not very many lights can perform that way, or that we saw it perform. That, that was, was the best. The only one. They beat T5s. And we had, what, 10 XR15 uh, G4s on this thing with diffusers. And then did uh, Ecotip hook these up from the G5s, these four? Yeah, so I asked him. I said, hey, if you send them here, I like them enough that I will replace those. I'll go through the effort of replacing all the G4s on there with these. So I thought about this today. And I was like, you know what? They were nice enough to send us uh, four of these things. And so like, Basically, it didn't really cost us anything to do it, so is it fair? We should have bought our own. Yeah, well, we did. So I got four here that we're going to give away to you guys instead. Uh, so it didn't cost us that much uh, to do it. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, but ultimately now. So we went through the process. We set up uh, the four XR30s on here now, set mm -hmm. front to back. 
Instead of having 10 XR15s, I gotta tell you, the spread is actually better uh, because the G5 spread's better. We were able to get uh, the par more even in the tank with just four legs versus 10 just because of the design. And we're using diffusers too. Yeah, we're using the diffusers on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we only got four cords here instead uh, of that monster cut. Yeah, with. yeah, we went from like a two inch diameter cord monstrosity to just four cords coming off of these lights. Yeah. Right. It's really nice. It's not a coincidence that they're on sale either too, because when they asked us to do this, I'm like, you know what would be fun? Is uh, the things are on sale. We did this, I've been waiting around to tell the world this fits together. We want to give them away. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, if you're interested in doing the same thing we did, they're on sale today, like 10% off. They haven't been on sale, and I can't remember. Last year they weren't on they sale. both Black Fridays. In the last two years. This is the yeah. first time Ecotech's been on sale for a long time. You can time. wait two more years if you want. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, all right, so that is actually it. I'm gonna, at the end of this, I'll walk by, we'll give another update again of how all the corals and stuff are doing in the tank. But yeah. Really, we finally got past the dry rock, bare bottom, uh, Stability. We beat the yeah. Aptasia. Yep. Uh, lights and are swapped out. Lights are swapped out. I think it's like go time. We're going to see the same the success that we see in the E170 in the other room. It's going to take off. Here, and because this is so many corals in here, I think you're just going to see this thing be one of those just super epic things. Yep. 12 months. Like, I'm going to sign up. Mark it today. today. <laughs> All right, it's the 15th, 15th today. 15th of March. 15th of March. We're coming back next year, and we're going to show you E170 All right. times three. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Super, super huge. All right. I think it's going to happen. So I, I think I had it down. All right. So we're going to give away these radions here now. And uh, one of the things we say for preferred reefers is we reserve the right yeah. to give you free stuff you can't stop us. Yeah. Right? So, there it is. so we picked out four. This time... We picked up four orders off the line, this time looking for inspiration, right? So inspiration for orders that are like, hey, you know what, wouldn't it be fun to send it to this person, right? All right, so the first one in here, the reason we picked it up is, I mean, the Ultra fans definitely buy only like the, the preferred, Johnson's, right? Only the preferred reef for Ultra fans buy like the towels. And I the mean, you got the Mr. So. Chili towel. Beach towel. Beach, Beach towel. Prepping for the summer. Well, you now got a XR30 uh, Radeon Blue. And you also have pub glasses in there too. Oh, yes, I know. We also ordered the beer pub glasses. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chili beer glasses. All right, so oh. what was the one here? Um, or I guess got the... We're giving it away to C.J. Wilkerson. C.J. Wilkerson. Congratulations, thank you for being a super fan. Uh, and for, for Reaper, actually. Uh, and uh, then we also have one that has one of these nice uh, uh, Mr. Chili sweatshirts as well, right? And uh, here we go. That one's going to Joseph Norm uh, Normoyle. There you go, Joseph Normoyle, you order your sweatshirt. You also get That's an XR30 blue. Oh, all right, we have one down here. Man, how right. much fun is that? All right, I got one of these at home, actually. So, uh, this one. You ordered another BRS TV uh, uh, t shirt here? Well, uh, XR30. Ooh. Shane Emery. All right. One of the next ones, though, is in. Uh, this is going to lead in the next conversation, actually. Ah, the hires. Of the new hires here. Uh, this one isn't a preferred reefer, but we're going to send them radio on anyway. Okay. This one is actually a wholesale account. And we'll tell you why in just a second. Yeah, so but, uh, the wholesale account orders, um, this was caught our attention. I, I saw it because I have Aptasia too. Like, well, that is, if I'm looking for inspiration, there it is. There it is. And All some right. citric acid. And some citric acid. Wholesale uh, guy also uh, getting a XR30 Blue. XR30 Blue. So, right. what was the name? Uh, that one is Kim Willits. Oh, not again. That which well, actually technically who knows, okay. but yes, Kim. Uh, what if, you, if you're a female, this leads to our next conversation too. Oh yes, it does. Exactly. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, it does. So wholesale and female and new hires. What do those all have in common? Mm. All right. Okay, we got new hires. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit it first. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so before we get to the two new hires, which is actually pretty exciting. It's really exciting. I'm gonna fulfill the marketing team's request. We're gonna help out marketing. Yes. All right. So uh, we. This is why it's Black Friday in May. Because you see those ten percent off sales all the time, and then you get pissed off because all the map stuff didn't, didn't qualify. Yeah, uh, not this today. one. That only time you ever see that is Black Friday, right? Otherwise, you have to wait all the way till next Black Friday next year. <laughs> not, not <laughs> all right. So they were able for our spring sale, which it snowed today, so I don't know how spring it is. But uh, our spring sale is uh, the Radions are ten percent off, or the Radion XR30s, both the Blue and Pro. Mm -hmm. Neptune Systems. 
All right, we're probably already out of a lot of Neptune systems, but I heard we got another shipment on the dock. Just waiting to go onto the shelves. Yep, so, so you watch, it up. watch those notifications. Brightwell, 30% off. Uh, Corlin Zucht, 25% uh, off. Aquatic Life, those uh, T5 uh, uh, hybrid, hybrid fixtures, also a bunch of other things. They have that little booster buddy guy. Ah, the Aqua uh, Buddy, a smart yeah. buddy. Yes, uh, for the RO system. Yep. Uh, aqua aquatic, aquatic Life, JBJ, 15% off. eShops, 12. CJ, 15. Yeah, that's Black Friday time. Reefbrite. Uh, Reefbrite, 10%, so all those little supplemental strips. Uh, eShop, oh, Fiji Cube, 10%. So they got all kinds of cool things. Uh, you probably never heard of Fiji Cube. They're right here in Minneapolis. Yeah, they are. They can have a little box you can put to make your own all-in-one out of a normal tank. Yeah, you, yeah they have a, a set-in all-in-one system that you, it turns into a baffle. They also have baffle systems for standard tank sizes like 10, 20 long, 40 breeder, and you just create your own baffles. It's really cool. You don't see this one very often. Uh, Royal Exclusive is in the, in the Whoa, mix with 10% off, as well as all the Red Dragon stuff. GHL, 10% off. That, Never see that one. Controller. Real Reef, all, all the Purple Rock, 10% off. That was the time to CPR, get that. CPR uh, uh, Aquatics is 20% off. LG Free, all those magnets that I've been talking the about hammer a lot. Head, Hammerhead, 15% uh, off. And then 10% off everything else. Sidewipe. All right, there yeah. you go, uh, mission accomplished. All right, so we did that. All right. Let's talk about new hires. New hires. We hired two new people. Today. If you were walking, we, we shared the other day like this laundry list of people. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, both of them started today. Yeah. The first one is a local fish store owner. Yeah, right? That's right. She. She. She had Jen. We hired Jen uh, from, from a new wave aquaria just down the street from us, probably like 15 minutes. Has owned her store for, I think, a decade or so or more. Uh, main service accounts, maintenance. She knows a lot more than me and this guy about livestock and corals and a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we're bringing her expertise to the team and all of the exposure that she's had in her time in the hobby. And you'll see her on BRS TV. Yeah, so for those of you who know, I was told that uh, from one of our biggest suppliers that she is actually the number one uh, 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 store in the nation. Oh. So very successful. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was shocked. She's anyway. She saw that we were hiring here and wanted to be part of BRS TV. So she's going to be uh, like the Randy and I of all and kinds Thomas, of things. Yeah. Oh, so yes. that, that puts all four of us now. You get BRS TV video content from Ryan, from me, from Thomas, and now Jen. Also. So, Jen, again, we talk a lot about like a QT procedure, yeah. livestock and stuff. They're like, man, you can never really be awesome. Like uh, and that stuff, unless you do it for a living. You gotta be in the trenches. Hopefully she can bring that to us and then to you guys we've, as well. We've got some issues in some of our tanks that she's gonna help solve and then teach you guys how she did it. I, I, I could be more excited. <laughs> I know, it's uh, really excited. Uh, by the way, I think there's gonna be one more coming in the next few months too. So uh, if you wanna join the uh, video team and uh, be you can the, do this. the next Ryan and Randy, come on, come on <laughs> enjoy it, let us know. Uh, there's a careers page, you can go check it on the website. Uh, also, the next hire yes. has something to do with wholesale. Somebody here, if you could throw out the name of the person that plumbed the tank with me. Oh, yes. I'd like to read these comments. Who know. plumbed Ryan's tank? Who plumbed Ryan's tank? It's very important to this conversation. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to read the, uh, I'm gonna read the specul. See? I'm going to read the speculation. All right. Well, so we hired a new wholesale director here. So we supply a lot of fish stores. We supply a lot of maintenance accounts with uh, gear. And uh, we ah, tried to Greg, do it. Greg Carroll. Uh, Greg Carroll chimed in. <laughs> so it's Jeremy Howell from Brightwell. You've seen him over there. He's going to come over and join our team. We've got a really tight relationship with uh, uh, Brightwell, so yep. we'll still keep uh, helping them be successful. He's going to come over here and then do whatever we can to help our partners at the local, the local fish stores. Yeah, we're expanding the local fish stores, and uh, we want to get more of you guys in their stores and help you guys out, help the local fish stores out. So you have like knowledge and expertise right where you live, and uh, they're gonna help us. You know, Jeremy's gonna help take our wholesale department psh, to the moon. Give an idea of what that looks like. We are thinking, you know, maybe you know to help some of the stores and stuff. We can send out like, postcards with free uh, gifts or you know, sales store. or whatever to the local fish stores in the area. And you can like know the Jerry's uh, fish store down the road uh, or New Wave is having a sale yeah. and come on down and, and help them out. So just looking for new ways to you know help all the LF fish stores and work together as partners mm -hmm. to you know 
do this all together. I think we're called the Life Partner Program or something. Oh, like yeah. That. Uh, we'll exciting. see how it all works together. It's but Jeremy is now on board, part of our team. He's going to help us also select new products, more BRS uh, exclusive products or BRS even branded products, and help expand that world as well. Yeah, so we got, I mean, we're talking things like the heaters that recently came out, BRS branded heaters. Uh, we got BRS, you know, you know our, our go to is like uh, RODI systems and a few things, but made more and more with the BRS signature of approval. All right, so new BRS TV talent. Uh, finally, a woman on the team. Awesome. <laughs> no uh, beards and hats. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with another hat. That's going to be a problem. Uh, and uh, new wholesale leader. Actually, you know, for the first time, this is like a real serious endeavor here, so yeah. that'd be really exciting. And uh, Black Friday in May, and four free radions that went out to Preferred Reefer. So make sure to join Preferred Reefer because we give out free stuff all the time. We can do this all we want. Anytime. Anytime we want. Uh, and a little update here. So, so I don't know. We're going to leave you with uh, shots of the 750. Ryan's going to carry the camera around and show it off. All right. So, again, come back May 15th, 2022. Yep. One year from now, this is going to be E170. Except for all these little corals are going to be big, giant colonies. This is going to be one of the best tanks. Again, we got over all of... Uh, uh, the new tank syndrome, I guess, you know, the ugly stage, the bare bottom dry rock kind of sterile stage. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. You know, the fishes have always done it well in here, but you know, the Aptasia was really hard to beat. So I don't know. There we go. I'm going to see if uh, there's our, the... our friend, the file fish. Oh, that that's guy's probably them. eating Aptasia right now as we speak. He's actually, hunting it back he's there. hunting it back there. If you get the right one of these, these guys are a godsend. And maybe you're going to see him try to find one right now. He is. Out. That's the only place there's aptasia is deep down, down in those in, corals. Down in those corals. Yeah. He's looking that for them. That anacropora is yeah. covered in them down there. Oh. You'll notice how the... See that anacropora is flat, flat on the top? Did you just see that molly miller? The molly millers rest on top and uh, flatten to it out. out too. Yeah, well, I kind of like them. They're, They're just, cool. We had so many of them, though. But, yeah. All right. So the XXL 750 here. And a shameless to, plug for the sale today. We're going to have to photograph some of the colors in these. The I'm gonna phone's get, not doing it justice. I'm going to update uh, on the Facebook, the BRS Facebook page. I'll have them shoot a better video that has a little lens on it and adjust the color so we can really see it in all its light. All right. See you guys later. Have a good see day. See you guys.